Hey everyone, Matt Lake here with another Unreal 5 tutorial. In today's quick video, I'm going to show you how to get Python called from Blueprints. Uh, so if you haven't seen my previous video on how to install Python, I recommend you check that out first and then come back. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. So Python offers a variety of Blueprint nodes that only work in the editor. This means they don't work at runtime yet, but they're really good for making in-editor tools. Uh, so I'm going to show you the easiest way on how to get some Python running from a widget UI. To do this, we're going to use a editor utility widget, which are absolutely perfect for this kind of thing. So let's start off by creating an editor utility widget. So head to the content browser. I'm going to make a new folder, editor utilities. And we're going to head into that folder. So editor utilities can be located and when you right click and just down here at the editor utility section and type editor utilities widget. So let's call that editor utilities widget tutorial. And it's just open on move monitor, two seconds. And there we go. So this uh, will open up this widget designer interface. Uh, and this is where we can build our tool with buttons and inputs and things like that. But I'm going to keep this nice and simple and just do a button that triggers some Python for now. So I'm going to start off by shrinking my canvas size as I don't want my tool to be too big and full screen. That will do. Let's zoom in. And I want a button to actually call the command. So let's drag a button in here from the palette. Make that a little bit bigger and let's make him, let's make him blue. There we go. So now we want to call a command from this button. To easily do that, we can scroll down in the details panel right to the bottom and we have an event section. So we want to call a command on clicked. So if we just hit this plus button, it'll take us to the graph editor where we've got on clicked event for that button. So if we just drag off the execution pin and we can type Python and you'll see there's a variety of nodes available there, but the one that I typically use is just the execute Python script. And you can see it all comes with default print hello world, which is awesome. So if we compile this blueprint, save that, head back to the content browser. So to run it, all we need to do is right click on the editor utility widget and click run editor utility widget. And you'll see on my other monitor, we now have this tool with the uh, the button available. An alternative way to open up the widget is once you've clicked run, if you go to your level viewer and right at the top, you've hit tools, you'll now see there is a section for editor utility widget and there's the tutorial. So it's nice and easy to access rather than hunting through the content browser to find it. And if we just hit the button and you can see we're getting this command printed, which is the one from the script which is cool. It's dead straightforward. Um, it's super powerful. Like if you want to come in into here, we can also add new lines. You can do additional prints like tutorial. Um, if we recompile that and uh, reopen the widget, you'll see now it's printing both of them. Uh, you can do all sorts of this. You can start importing your libraries. You can do your for loops. You, you can you write a whole script editor in there if you wanted to. You don't. It's probably not the best. Uh, but I'd probably recommend uh, calling external scripts or things like that. But that's how you do it on a on a surface level. It's dead straightforward and super cool. So yeah, guys, that's it. Dead straightforward. Um, I hope it's helpful. I hope you learned something. Um, if you've got any questions, drop them below in the comments. I read all the comments. Or reach out to me on Twitter at MattLakeTA. Um, I'm going to do another follow-up video to this as I've already had a, a request on returning values to Blueprint to do things with them. Uh, so yeah, I hope this was informative and uh, thanks guys. Bye.